right, so this video is going to be for Chiron in the 10th house. So this is interesting. Like with Chiron 10th house, 10th house, it's really about the outer world. And I want to bring up, first of all, the 4th house and the 10th house axis because the 4th house is our inner world and the 10th house is like an outer world. And it kind of goes with the, the adage, um, as above, so below, um, as within, so without. Because there is no 10th house without the 4th house. And the 4th house is like our upbringing. It's what is valuable to us. It's our emotions, our, our core values. Um, it's kind of what makes us who we are. And then we take that and we we bring it out into the world and who we are becomes what we do in this world and, it, and what we bring to this world and what we want to change and what we want to offer the world. That's our 10th house. Our 10th house is um, the highest point in the chart, which is the midheaven. And so it's really about what do you want to contribute? That's why it's often associated with career because it's like, what are you going to put out into this world that's going to be use of use of value um not only for now but even after you pass away that's why it's also associated with legacy and but in it's more in it's more <laughs> in its most pure form the 10th house is again our gift to the world our gifts and the culmination of who we are to what we value to um, our inner world um, to our talents and to what we do for a living on a day to day basis to our relationship with other people to our, all these things um, culminate to the 10th house so it's the part of your chart that is the most visible so having your car on here it's almost kind of like you live in a glass house because especially if you have more than one placement in the 10th house because if you just have your car on here Maybe you're not as visible as people who have their Chiron here along with other planets, which is oftentimes the case. So having your Chiron here along with other placements, you're going to feel like you're living in a glass house because everything you do to a certain extent is going to be on display. And it's really funny because um, Billie Eilish, which I love, so I've looked at her chart uh, many times, and she has her Chiron in the 10th house and it it kind of plays out for her at least from what i observe is people cast a lot of judgments on her and if you look at her old interviews you'll see how she talks about hating fame when she first got famous and being so depressed and you being visible in the world and being somebody is going to come with people judging you it doesn't matter how much of an amazing person you are and she also has a song that if you have this placement i highly recommend you go listen to this song it's called not my responsibility and i love this song so much and it in one of the lines in the songs i'm gonna read it really quick one of the lyrics in one of the lyrics in the song she says but i feel you watching always and nothing I do goes unseen so while I feel your stares your disapproval or your sigh of relief if I live by them I'd never be able to move that lyric in itself goes into the whole song but that lyric in itself like it perfectly describes the 10th house and Chiron in the 10th house because it is like you have you're at this you're at this peak which is the 10th house, right? And you have all these eyes and all these people watching you, watching for what you're gonna do, watching for what you're going to wear, even that, even as shallow as what you're gonna wear, your image, like they're watching you. And, and the question really with this placement is, do you have the inner stability? Like, do you have the inner foundation to be able to withstand the masses of people, like the crowd, the audience, the, the world at large? because the 10th house and the 4th house is an axis, so they play off of each other, they're one and the same, really. And so someone that doesn't have a 
a strong fourth house or a well aspect fourth house or a well aspect or uh, um a good uh, foundation or sense of self is going to get swallowed up in the 10th house and so another funny thing is about Billie Eilish is that she has a very good fourth house she has her Jupiter in the fourth house and she and also her north node which that's kind of neutral but have her having her Jupiter in the fourth house is gonna make her having power in the 10th house so much easier because having Jupiter there means there's an abundance of so she has an abundance of love, of family, um, with her, you see with her, her with her mother, her father, her brother, uh, she seems to have a really tight-knit, uh, circle of friends, and a really deep connection with her fans, so all of that, which is fourth house things, helps her in the tenth house. So, if you have something like Pluto, though, or something like Saturn, which is a malefic, if you have that in your fourth house, and you're having issues with your tenth house, then that's going to make it a little bit more challenging for you because um, your fourth house, which is your so solid foundation for the tenth house, is kind of um, there's resistance and there's energy that needs to be cleared there. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's, and I have like my Chiron opposite my midheaven, and I have my Pluto in the fourth house, so I kind of get in that dynamic of I really had to work on myself like before I could even, even making this video and like decided to make a YouTube channel I had so much work I had to do on my inner self because there was just so much darkness and things I had to work through and um I know second house is self-worth but fourth house plays in that a lot too because really your emotions and like how you feel about yourself so it's really important to feel good about yourself and know yourself know who you are before you let the world tell you who you are with this placement and 10th house also represents the father so you could have issues with your father you probably have issues with if not with your father with masculine energy or authority figures um in life so that could be the person at your job your boss if you're not your own authority in your life this is gonna this energy is gonna show up in your life somehow and you know what it is but um there's a wounding and pain around being your own authority. Can I be my own authority? Do I have what it takes? Like, And especially if you have other planets in the 10th house, you're going to naturally have the urge to be your own authority, be your own boss, um, be in control of your life. And Chiron here, you might feel like you're not capable or there's just some type of resistance around you doing that for yourself. And it might not, it, it may be that you didn't have a solid father figure in your life, or you had a father figure, but they weren't, they didn't give you what you needed. They were, they were abusive. They were toxic. They didn't believe in you. They tore you down. They weren't there emotionally. Um, there's things they, they did that you can't forgive. There could be so many different scenarios at play, but there is a wounding around most likely masculine energy as well. And even in yourself, being able to take action, being able to pursue your career and your goals and what you set out to accomplish, um, there can be a deep feeling of inadequacy here and even like imposter syndrome um, when it comes to being who you want to be in this world. And I literally, I feel that because Chiron opposite midheaven here and like it's, it's like a constant, a constant search for approval and like recognition too like you're looking outside of yourself for what, what should already be inside the art like you should already have those things you're looking for on the outside inside and so that's what it really is it's like really about replenishing that fourth house so if you have this placement I would really look at your fourth house and see what's going on there and if you don't have anything in your fourth house look at the sign in your fourth house and look at what rules that sign and whatever rules that sign is going to tell you more about how to replenish that fourth house. And, um, yeah, this also, 10th house correlates to Capricorn, so it's kind of like also having your Chiron and Capricorn. I wish I said that in the beginning of the video, but it's also similar to that. So when I think of Capricorn, having Chiron and Capricorn, I think of, like, someone who... doesn't want to be a burden to other people around them I, I would feel like it's something like 
they feel they have to do it all by themselves. And I'm also remembering that Saturn rules this house, so it's kind of like you could feel like it's just extra hard for you to get ahead, like as opposed to other people maybe. Um, or that, or even if you are like where you want to be, you feel like you have to, like you feel this pressure, this weight, this burden. Um, no matter where it came from, it could just be you, you your mind placing those those that heaviness on yourself, or it could be a parent. And also, um, 10th house could be your mother or your father. It really, it's about who's the more dominant parent. So it could be the mother in, in some cases. And um, there could just be this unnecessary weight that you feel when it comes to accomplishing things and reaching your goals. Um, a weight that might be placed there because of that all the way back from childhood that I don't know you have some type of programming that says that you're not worth worthy you're not worthy if you don't do X Y and Z and it all it all leads back to the fourth house because you're worthy of everything that you want and love and everything regardless of what you do and what you accomplish in life and that's why fourth house is important because you are before any of that you are worthy period and if you have this place and you're probably struggling with programming that told you otherwise because of experiences you've had throughout life so it's very important to get back to that that truth that you don't need to accomplish anything to be worthy of feeling good and feeling peace and and just feeling love and ex accepting good things in your life you don't have to constantly be overworking yourself or proving something to someone else um, because when you're dead and gone like you're gonna die alone like you're born alone you're gonna die alone and think just carrying that I don't know I kind of carry that with me I try to like in a lot of moments not in a depressing way but in a way that's like this is me like this is my life this is not about what anyone else has to think about it because no one's paying my bills like no one's look <laughs> like I mean, people aren't as important as we make them in our head. That's all I'm saying. Like, we really have to, first of all, strip back that layer, that aspect of it, but then also realize that what really matters is what we think of ourselves and how we feel about ourselves because ultimately that's what's going to reflect into the outer world. And hmm, that's really, that's really like all I have to say about it. I'm trying to think if I have anything else to, to throw in there because I mean this can go again a thousand different ways everything in astrology can be manifested um so many different ways so I always try to like cover all my bases but that really is the essence of having Chiron here it's really um wounding around being seen being valuable being worthy being productive um being accomplished and established in your own right and taking what you've learned and who you are and putting that into the world and I will say that also to wrap it up um like I said before there's a gift in Chiron Chiron is a gift it's the pain and the medicine it is the medicine people skip over that part including me I was only thinking about the pain of Chiron like I wasn't thinking about how it's a, literally a medicine like in the it's okay so the medicine of this house is like your gifts are healing what you have to offer to the world and what you want to do in this world just um maybe even pause this video and think about it for a second but whatever you want to do in this world is very needed and it's very healing and you stepping out um, in that position and in that authority role is going to be beneficial for a lot of people, um, including you and as part of your, your soul's journey and um, your mission um, and your life path, even just to step into that role. And a lot of times these people, they have so much to offer the world, but they're just scared of being seen. Um, and you could even be so accomplished and but deep down inside, you feel this emptiness having this, this Chiron placement. You feel like you're not doing enough because there's something missing that you have to go back for. There's actually nothing that you have to do um, to heal this placement. There's things you need to 
you need to be and you need to go back and need to figure out why you felt like you needed to accomplish something to be worthy of love. You have to go back and, and figure that out and you have to sit with yourself and you have to reparent yourself because a 10th house is reparenting. Even though 4th house is parenting, I feel like 10th house is, is reparenting because you're going to have to reparent yourself, especially if I think we all need to, honestly, in society, even if you have the best of parents, I feel like we all need to parent ourselves as adults, and that's okay, and you can Google, you know, how to parent, reparent yourself, I'm not going to get into that in this video, because I don't want to make it super long, and I could even, I could honestly make a video about that, but reparenting yourself and talking to yourself nicely, um, and just setting boundaries for yourself, all that stuff, I'm slowly developing, and let me tell you, it is it is the best thing it's the most amazing thing i've done for myself and the most gentle most sweet thing you can do for yourself is to reparent yourself and in practical ways like there's so many practical ways you can do right now after you watch this video to start reparenting yourself and i'm going to end this video with this um with this quote that i love um and it basically is just it just says um heal the root so that the tree is stable and what that means is like the fourth house would be the roots um how you feel about yourself that's the root uh your inner your inner space that no one else knows about that's the root so heal the root so the tree which is your midheaven your 10th house your outermost um persona um is stable because when the fourth house is healthy and thriving, the tenth house is healthy. And so within, so without. So yeah, I'm going to end this video here, guys. Um, if you have this placement, tell me about it in the comments. I want to hear your experience and how you kind of relate to this video. Let's talk about it in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Hope you got something from this video. And talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.